Okay, we're, we're installing the Toto toilet here. Nick is installing this. Um, Nick, I have a couple questions about uh, what preparation did we did you have to do to, to get it to this point here? I see new stuff over here that was not here before. So to accommodate this toilet, we have to install an electrical outlet, um, which obviously most people don't have next to their toilet. To do that, we had to take a grinder and cut out for the receptacle and the tile. We opened up the wall in the bedroom to run the wire over. And then for the flange, which as you can see is completely different than most toilets, we had to set it in place, mark out holes to drill the flange down into the floor here with tile bits. This thing on the bottom side of this has a Johnny ring like you would put on a regular toilet. It just seats down in. Tighten this, then you tighten this, and you're ready to set the toilet. Okay, all right, so um, I guess so. Want to set it? Yeah. Once you have the toilet where it needs to be, you see it just drops right down to the floor, and then all we have to do is tighten it down to the little in bolts. What's nice about this toilet is you don't have to worry about when you're setting it making sure that it seals to the wax ring because that's already bolted down in place so all you have to do is set the toilet on the pipe and it's sealed already. The washless seat deck. It connects to the water and gets plugged in. And we are going to get that ready uh, to go here. And okay, so we have the Toto Washlet S350E. I'll tell you what we had to do. We had to do that. The supply mounting bracket that just slides down into the two holes for the toilet seat and then you tighten it down. And then basically this just slides on. Locks into place and that's it. Now you hook up the water supply to the seat. Always remember when you're hooking up any water lines to a toilet, it's just hand tight. And then you plug it in. Why wouldn't somebody want to crank down to tighten that up? Make sure it doesn't leak. You over tighten them and um, the washers inside get damaged and it then you have to replace the whole line. Okay. There we go. Oh, got power. Okay. <laughs> and then we just need to put the back on there. Right? There she is. Okay. So the back of that seat sits up pretty high. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And now there's obviously some programming that has to be done. Mm -hmm. but then the bolt fill up, tank fill up. Just going to test for leaks. You're going to want to set it up for your guys' personal use. Um, there's yeah. some basics on here, like it's got a power flush option on the side and a cleaning option on the side. There's a couple buttons over here. The seat, the top seat is motion censored. This seat can actually be raised with the remote control. Okay, water's yeah. on. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah. no leaks. And she works. So there is the dryer, and there's actually uh, a 
uh, spout that comes out of here. All personal preferences. Mm -hmm. On the remote. We'll show a separate video just showing the wash light. Yeah, we will. So the wash light will be um, shown in a separate video. So thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Secure.